I'm David from the Sumo Learn Team. In this video, I'm going to go over the transaction operator. The transaction operator allows you to analyze related logs that are in a sequence. So if you have a user that logs in and logs out, you can track the sequence of logging in and logging out based off of a user. The operator requires two main ingredients. One is a transaction ID or a unique ID to group the related log messages together. To do this, you're also going to need to map or parse out the log message states. I'm going to show you an example from our G Suite application. But first, I want to go over some of the options in its syntax. You can group results by the transactions themselves based off of the unique identifier you provide or the states that you will parse out from each one of those transactions and by the flow which is based off of the latency between each one of the states. They all will require you to parse out the states. So, let's go back. I can show you the G Suite example. Now the G Suite will ingest audit logs from your Google Drive so you can view different events that users are conducting on your Google Drive. For instance here we have a log from Google Drive here expanding and you can see the state was an upload done to a document. There's the document ID and the raw log you can see document ID up here. It was uploaded and in the query can see we've parsed out these fields already. So for instance, the unique identifier we're going to use here is document ID, and it's being parsed out in this regex expression. So I'll show you first by transactions. We're just doing one day search here for audit logs. And you can see we are grouping them. This is an unordered table. We're grouping them by a document ID and with all of the states that we've specified. So we've got transaction on document ID with all of these states. So here you can see this doc document, the first time it was found and the last time it was found. And then if you search over, you can see all of the number of events and, or states that were counted. And there's always an others to, to account for uh, any other potential ones that it might have picked up. So let's go and view them by states now. This is still unordered data. We're just providing them yeah. as we uh, analyze them. So here you can see all we're getting are counts and just how many counts were detected for uh, you know each potential poss you know, po possibility. So like we have got one upload and one view that specific series of events happen three times across data. So now let's put it by flow. And now you can start to see we're getting a different uh, column here, group IDs. So now we're actually grouping each one of these unique identifiers and so for instance you can see group three here is you know has the same document ID here, 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 here uh, and we're tracking the different states from and to and the latency between each one and the exact time in milliseconds that it ended. So now still unordered to get ordered data we want to aggregate so we're going to count by the to and from states. I'll go over order in a second. So you can see now we have a count column here and we can come over here and actually view a flow diagram where we have the different counts and you know the, uh, the sequence of events edit to view how many times it happened. You can tell that they're out of order. We've got, uh, for instance, create is like way over here. Uh, you know these are trackable, but only vertically. So our applications team has added an if statement series of them, so to specify if a state is create to give it the number one and apply it to a new field called order. So now we can add this to the aggregation 
and go back to table, you can see now we have an order column here. So the flow diagram, since we're going to aggregate by order as well, can properly show you the flow that, you know, in order that you want. So create is now over here, it's a little bit easier to read, uh, and you can see how this would give you a great overall picture of what's going on in your Google Drive. And as always, come to uh, home and learn to view all of our videos and training material and the uh, docs link is right here for reference. Thank you.